Hello, everyone. My name is Jack Coppinger, and welcome to the California Winter League Weekly Roundup, where we bring you all the action week to week from inside of Palm Springs Stadium here in Palm Springs, California. It was the final week of the regular season, and all the players left everything they had out on the field as their teams look to secure their playoff positions. We've had a number of players sign professional contracts this week, including Kevin Barker, the outfielder for the Canada A's, who signed his professional deal with the Windy City Thunderbolts of the Frontier League. Our very own Mike DiBucci caught up with Kevin to discuss the signing. Why did you decide to come down here and participate with the CWL, and how has this league helped you trying to get noticed by professional scouts across the country? Uh, well, I've always had a dream to play in the Major, uh, major League Baseball, so... I knew once I didn't get drafted last year, I wasn't going to let that stop me. I wanted to, you know, take all the opportunities I could, take all the advantage of all the opportunities that I could. And um, California Winter League, I saw I had a great opportunity to get in front of a lot of scouts, a lot of teams. So to me, it was a no-brainer why I came out here. Here's a list of the rest of the players who have signed this week. Here are some updates from around the league. In a tight pennant race, the Canada A's were able to seize control of the third seed in the California Winter League playoffs thanks to key victories over the Midwest Haymakers and Alberta Grizzly. The Manitoba North Stars finished the season scorching hot as they compiled a 7-2-1 record over their last 10 games of the season, including a final day victory over the Coachella Valley Snowbirds that secured the number two seed in a first round playoff bye. Like the Manitoba North Stars, the Toronto Rush finished the season on a tear, winning their last four games of the regular season to leapfrog the rest of the pack and finish with the one seed for the California Winter League playoffs. The Manitoba North Stars and Toronto Rush have a first round playoff bye and will meet the lowest seeded teams to advance to the second round. And here are this week's top five plays. Coming in at number five is David Kimbra of the Bay Area Bootleggers making a sliding catch down the right field line. Coming in at number four is this feed from Ben Strzokka to Ryan Davis who makes a great grab with his bare hand to retire Brian McKenna at first base. Coming in at number three is Sean Harris of the Midwest Haymakers who makes a brilliant diving catch in center field to end the inning. At number two is Kyle Aidy of the Alberta Grizzlies whose diving catch in right center field saves a run and ends the inning against the Chill. And coming in at number one is Dave Clark of the Alberta Grizzly. Here's Thaddeus on Cruz Clark. on the call. Rip into left center field. Moving back on it, it's Dave Clark. He dies and he makes the catch. What a play out there in center field by Dave Clark. Ranging all the way into left center field. Diving in front of his left fielder, Adam Picard. Now that the 2016 California Winter League regular season has come to an end, let's take a look at this year's first round playoff matchups. The first game of the day will begin on the auxiliary field at 8.30 a.m. and it features the eighth seeded Midwest Haymakers hosting the ninth seeded Palm Desert Coyotes. The first game of the day in the Palm Springs Stadium Complex will begin at 9.30 a.m. and it features the Palm Springs Chill, seeded number five, taking on the 12th seeded Bay Area Bootleggers. Back on the Ox Field at 11 a.m., the Alberta Grizzly, seeded number six, will take on the 11th seeded Palm Springs Power. Back on the main diamond at noon, the third-seeded Canada A's will take on the 14th-seeded Coachella Valley Snowbirds. On the Oxfield at 1.30, the seventh-seeded Oregon Lumberjacks will take on the 10th-seeded Washington Blue Sox. And our last game of the day, on the Palm Springs Stadium main diamond at 2.30 p.m., the fourth-seeded New York Colonials will take on the 13th-seeded British Columbia Bombers. 
Make sure to come out to Palm Springs Stadium for all of our exciting California Winter League playoff action beginning Thursday, February 11th. Or if you can't make it to the ballpark, then listen live online at CaliforniaWinterLeague.com. Reporting from Palm Springs Stadium for the California Winter League, I'm Jack Coppinger.